Do you know what this channel doesn't have enough of, Andrew? What's that? 3 RZ powered cars. Yeah, that's what I thought too. We should buy another one. Yeah, let's go and look at one. We should go. Okay. When I said more 3RZ stuff, this is not what I had in mind, Andrew. I thought we'd get something cool. What cool car comes with a 3RZ? A car that's had a 3RZ put in it. Corona. Are you saying high Corolla. Corolla. aren't cool? And boring. I'm sure we can make it cool, though. You're just jealous because I am going to steal the title <laughs> of Bricky <laughs> <shit> Box. <laughs> hey! That's my title. That's why you're annoyed. Yeah, a little bit. Show the people. So much room in here. You could easily fit a Turbo LS and make it cool. <laughs> Which bit were you? The pimp, the pimp steering wheel and gear knob. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and. Oh, wait for it. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Early 2000s, cruising to Brody Car Park. Tell me and the people viewing, what are we doing with this, Andrew? Everything. Everything. The channel loves 3RZs, as that, do I. Don't they? So, we're going to... Put two 3RZs in it. Yeah, let's do that. Turbo kit, standard ECU. Gear stage, is that stage one? That'll be stage one. Well, stage one will be just fix it, because look at it. You're going to put stage three cams in it? And a crackle tune. And a crackle tune. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so stage one will be... Well, stage one will be fix it up because, you know, it's... A Hilux. 25 years old and super well maintained. Stage two will be a low boost turbo setup with the factory ECU. At some point in there I'll have to do a gearbox upgrade because these things love to just blow apart. Uh, probably also chuck a true track in it at some point so that it's not a peg legger and then uh, we'll do ECU and injectors and then head studs and head gasket and valve springs and stage by stage we'll turn it up and show you what power they make at each level and how fast they go at each level are you excited? I'm real excited I can for, our, for our new pit car oh yeah are you going to cry when our pit car beats your actual car? No. A little bit. Do you think? <laughs> also, it's going which to, car? Also, it's going to stay manual. So we're going to play with uh, trying to make a manual car go down the drag strip. Are we going to have a competition with Aussie and see whose Hilux is fastest? If you don't make this faster than his Hilux within the first three months, you're out of tuner racing. That's a hard ask, because he's got a trans brake and an auto. Do you know what I like, Andrew? These really cool speed holes. That's how I'm going to beat Aussie. Speed holes. Speed holes. So the first step will be to fix the horrendous bearing noise. This car just got way cooler. See? <laughs> How good is that? So I said to the guy, have you had that noise looked at at all? And he said, what noise? Oh, well, I don't actually need a tool. I have a smell. No. So, right, so now that hopefully it's not gonna have a wheel fall off, I'll drive this over to Nugget Garage tomorrow, put it on the rollers and spin it up, find out what standard 3RZ 270 odd thousand kilometre work ute can make. And then we'll do it again after we put the turbo on. And then again, after we put an ECU and injectors in. And again, 
After we put nitrous on it. Okay. What's your guess for tomorrow? 104. 104. What is your horsepower guess? 78. Kilowatts? Horsepower. Attention please, this car is backing up. So what's your uh, what's your horsepower uh, guesstimate for my mighty stock island? It's going down at 4,000 revs. <laughs> <laughs> That's about right. Can I rebadge it? It's probably like something that doesn't say top. Ha! What did you say? 105. I said 105. It's in front of it, so it's you. a stuffler. It's a stuffler. It's not my 7.5 of it. Is that right? Yep. Oh, actually, I'm right. 7.5 and you're 7.5. Tight. I honestly thought the Simmons would take power away, but apparently it had. So I would have thought 95. 112.5, buddy. You were way off. It wasn't that far off, please. You impressed by that area under the curve with the yeah, the, I was actually. The nice. I, what impressed me the most was when the Brickies Ute got halfway up the hill and it was ringing its nuts out. And it couldn't go any further, and then it went. I mean, that's what you want from a dino graph, isn't it? It's supposed to look like a mountain. Mm. It's kind mm. of opposite to Ozzy's dino graph. His goes. Uh, it's is that yes. what this is do? I don't know. Mm. We'll find out. Should get a V8 because they go. Whoa. And then what happens when they get over here? They go. Whoa. So ideally we would have liked to have run this down the quarter or the eighth it just to get some numbers just to show people the improvements, but... It's still possibly on the cart, so our local track is still closed. Um, so it's December here at the moment, I think the track's due to open early January. This probably won't get turboed before then because Christmas. Um, so and other projects. And other projects. So yeah, we may still get time to run it down the quarter and do, if I can find my draggy. Um, run it down the quarter, uh, show you the times, but also give you a zero to a hundred and that kind of stuff. So we've got um, we've got all of the data so that we can do it again at each stage and see what sort of improvements you can expect if you do it to your Hilux. And in the meantime, we're going to use this thing to tow the boat. I have actually done that. <laughs> it's 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 work here. It's going to stay at work here with sweet vents. Lots. I knew you were not deep down a 3RZ guy, hey? This yeah. thing's getting an LS. In the back. 3RZ in the front, LS in the back. Uh, LS in the back, empty in the front. Let's make it a V-dub. Yeah, nice. There's parts getter. We've got parts. Yeah. 